Oh, what is going on, guys? Hockey Guy One here. Welcome to my review of Baby Driver. So, Baby Driver is directed by Edgar Wright and stars Angela Elgort, Lily James, Kevin Spacey, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, and Isa Gonzalez. The story is basically about Baby, who works for Doc in this high group, but the police is kind of going after him because of the crimes they're trying to commit with the high group, and he basically. He goes on these heists and even just doesn't really realize that they're not really good. But then eventually he does kind of like realize it. So he basically wants to get out of town and kind of like live a life with his girlfriend, Deborah. The story is very good. I really like the kind of heist movie that they kind of chose for this. Is basically what they chose is kind of a movie where you have to kind of make a decision. And I do really like how they do that as... It is really work because the baby does kind of make a decision with the heist group where basically he go and out of town with Deborah, and I do really like that. It is basically, it does really work for the story, and I do feel like it kind of flows very well as over time. He doesn't really in line with the heist group, and basically, eventually, just, just basically just kind of kills him by one, and I really like how they end up doing that. and. It just really does work for the story, and I, and I do think that it's pretty smooth and does really does connect with each other pretty well. And I do really like just how complete the story feels and just the direction that they went with this, rather than just kind of being you know, kind of heist movie. And I really like how they kind of made it have like the character of a decision mother to like, be there or not. And I do really like how they end up doing this. The structure of the story is very good. The first act basically starts with them kind of like on the kind of high school, like robbing a bank. And uh, I do really like how they start start this movie. It does get you into it with the whole kind of police chase scene. And, and I do really like how they end up using it as advantage and as well as just how they kind of set up the rest of the movie when they get back at the kind of little thing and like kind of showing baby's life and like showing what he does with like his his kind of father Joe and I do really like how they end up showing that and it does really kind of like work at introducing the character baby and just exactly what he does in his life and I think they do a pretty good job with that and then they have like the whole second act, which is basically like he does have one like one last high decision, and he thinks at least, and then it does end up getting a job. The delivering pizza, but then Doc does keep calling him up, and I do think that adds a lot to the tension, and it definitely does work, and just how it does really work in the high and thing. And, Basically, just how they kind of keep showing his relationship with Deborah and how she cares about him throughout this act, and it just really works. And same thing with like how I think he goes on another heist mission, and, and I do really like that. It has basically they kind of like make it up to you know, him to even continue with it, and which he does end up doing so. And, and it's kind of like how they find about the tapes, and I do really like how like each character is in. And each thing really works for this, and then especially once they go to the kind of the diner where they see Deborah, and they don't really think that he actually knows them, but like they do discover it through the tips, and I do really like how like just each thing that happens connects to one another, and it just fits very smoothly into the story, and does really make sense for the story, and then especially like. Once the climax happens, like, there's kind of like baby's not really happy with that, so like he kind of f drives the, the the car like forward and the killing and kind of sort of kicks off the climax. And so he keeps going, and Darling ends up getting killed, which, which kind of makes Buddy like really mad at at, at baby. And it definitely does kind of start up the climax where they keep going back and forth each other and I do really think that's really entertaining and definitely feels like the movie peaked there and it definitely works for it and it's just some really fun action where they keep going back and forth and it does really work into the story and then basically you got the whole ending where he does, where he does turn himself into the police because he doesn't really have anything to basically get so just 25 years and it shows him kind of like 
in the other with Deborah and the movie ends. I do really like that ending as it does do a good job kind of like concluding the whole movie and does really work for the movie and, and definitely just feel like the movie is concluded by that point once they do that. Pacing is fantastic as basically it does feel like each scene connects to the next and it definitely does complete the story so like it does feel like it should be as long as it is and Basically, just with how each scene connects to each other, it just makes the film go five faster and just makes you feel more into it and just how much more fun it ends up being. The action scenes are fantastic. Is basically, you do kind of have, like, the whole beginning scene where there's a car chase against the police and, like, that just really brings up the tension and is what really works for the beginning of the movie and just... It just is really fun because the tension is really high and it just makes you really feel into the moment and just how much more fun it is. And the same thing with like the whole climax, like that's just really fun because they keep having a ten tension as high as basically he keeps fighting Buddy and it just, it just really has the tension high and I really, really like it, especially like when he first kind of like has Buddy waiting for him at the diner, and I do think that just makes the tension really high. And just when they keep facing each other through the garage, it just makes it really fun. It's really choreographed well, and just really gets you into the climax. And it definitely does feel like the action is really good and just a lot of fun. Baby is a really well written character, as basically. Like, his character's kind of described from, like, the whole Was He Slow song, where it basically says, like, he's the devil behind the wheel, but he's a good kid. And that, that definitely does kind of, like, describe his character. And it's basically just how this character, he's, you can definitely see how, like, he's a really good person, despite the fact that he's in a heist, and he's behind the wheel, and, like, in a heist, and in a Lincoln, but, like, you can definitely see how she's a good person, like, and you can see how he's kind of, like, nice and really cares about Deborah and just really cares about Joe as well, especially when Doc, like, threatens both of them, and, like, and doing it, like, you can just see how much he cares about other people, especially, when, like, when he ends up, like, giving that woman a purse, like, that's, you can just tell that he's a good kid, it's just that, like, he looks like he's a devil behind the wheel, and, it definitely does work for his character, and I definitely think that his character developed pretty well. As you can definitely see, like by the end, he he decides to like turn himself in, stop being like running from the police. It just really shows character and just kind of like consequence for his actions. And I do feel like that really worked for his character. Deborah is a well-written character. Basically, you can also see how the relationship kind of grows with Baby, as she definitely does care about him and. I do think they do a pretty good job with her kind of character, basically showing how like, she cares about Baby and just how we can develop the relationship together a lot. And you could definitely see that she does care and she does end up I mean, kind of coming back from at the end, basically keeping keep in touch. And I do really like how they end up doing that as it does really work for her character and definitely does like, have a lot in her character. And I do really think that her character is the kind of love interest does work as she is definitely used to kind of like motivate him and definitely does really kind of help him to does care about him a lot. Doc is a well-written character is basically what he is. He's basically like a leader of the high school kind of thing and kind of like his baby's boss but I do, you can definitely see like how much he cares about his kind of job kind of role and basically he does like the threats and to do something to to Joe and as well as Deborah, like if they, if Baby Lane doesn't really come into his job and basically he just has kind of suspicions. They gave you kind of thing when they first hear about the kind of mixtape thing and how there's recordings and like you definitely you can definitely see how much he cares about his job and especially even he cares about having Baby as a driver because like. He feels like he's the lucky charm because, like, always gets there and then it just, it just can care about that. And you can see how much he cares about his job in that kind of case. Bats, or his real name, Leon, basically is a pretty well-wearing character. I mean, 
basically what his character is, is basically like Tiki Kang, it's men who really likes to shoot things easily and basically that is mostly his character, he does that and he does pretty much fit well into the story a lot and does fit well into the heist and basically he does end up meeting his end and my baby kind of like driving the car forward and end up killing him and I do feel like that's a pretty fitting end to his character is basically I mean he's kind of nice in the way that he kind of like is a hothead and he kind of like kills people and, and definitely does kind of like meet his end in a good way and I do feel like that's that that does really work for his character is basically I mean eventually he was gonna get punished for his actions and I do feel like that that was a pretty well way to do it and definitely does work and it's basically yeah it just ends his character off in a pretty good way. Buddy has this relationship with Darling. She's a pretty well written character. I mean, you can see how much she can like cares about her and basically does yeah, they kinda care about the high school group and does they think it's pretty good and I do think that a pretty good job with the kind of thing. Basically he human blames like the whole death of Darling on baby and basically she does go after him for that, and then I feel like it's pretty well for that. The acting is fantastic. Ansel Elgort does a very good job as Baby. Is basically, he does really feel like the character. Each delivery is done with confidence, and you can definitely tell he put a lot of effort into his role, and just did a really good job with it. Same thing with Jamie Foxx as Babs. He did a really good job really feeling like the character, and like giving the kind of intimidating feeling. And basically, there's also Kevin Spacey who did a great job as Doc, really feeling the character, each line delivery, same thing with Jesse Gonzalez as Stanley as well as um, John Hamm as Buddy, he does a really good job there, I really feel like the character and I feel like he did a really good job, so the name of Lily James is Deborah, really feeling the character, feeling the line of confidence and really trying in his role. The cinematography is fantastic, it's basically they can like capture the moments well, especially like when they use close up, they do a good job of like expressing the emotions of each and I do think they do a good job with that and especially with the the whole kind of scenes at the beginning, like they use a lot of camera angles in the, in the scene at the beginning and they do a good job kind of showing each one and kind of capturing the moment and it definitely does feel like the moment in the moment with it. The editing is fantastic, it's basically, they do have it a lot, and like when they really go from one camera angle to another, it feels really smooth, and it does feel like a good version, the same thing with when it goes from one scene to another, it feels like it's a smooth, and definitely does feel like it goes from one scene to another, and I just feel like they do a really good job with that, as it definitely does feel smooth, and does feel like that it's connected well, and it definitely does feel like the movie's complete, so they didn't really take out anything, and definitely does feel like the editing is complete and definitely does feel like the scene connects and basically just going smoothly from one scene to another. Soundtrack was fantastic because basically they had bell bottoms like to kind of start out the movie and it definitely does get you into that opening scene as it definitely makes you more feel into that action scene and I do think they do a good job in using that scene its advantage and same thing with the song baby like that was kind of a good job kind of like showing the kind of moment like how him and Deborah can like meet for the first time it definitely does like smooth the moment a bit more and I do feel like they do a good job with that same thing with like the kind of was he slow kind of song I mean as obviously was used from the like, doc sayings and I do feel like it's, it's the way the song is used really works I mean it definitely does kind of describe Baby's character and it makes you kind of like feel more in the moment. Overall, Baby Driver is a masterpiece. It's not only one of my favorite movies of 2017, but one of my favorite movies of all time. So I'm going to give Baby Driver a 10 out of 10. That was my review of Baby Driver. What are your thoughts on Baby Driver? Tell me in the comments below. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.